All right, ladies and gentlemen, every so often we like to uh, take your calls uh, on the Steve Molesberg Show. Of course, it's not a radio show, so how do we take your calls? We do it via Skype, and we've given you opportunity over the past few weeks to uh, go on and log on and sign up, and then we contact you and uh, see if we could arrange uh, for you to come on and uh, be a part of the show. So we're going to get to a, a couple of calls in this segment, hopefully, and let's start in Fort Collins, Colorado, and say hello to Bob. Hey, Bob, thanks for participating, sir. How are you this afternoon? I appreciate you having me here. My pleasure. What can I do for you? What's on your mind, sir? Well, what's primarily on our mind, and I say our because I represent uh, Republic Network News, we have we inhabited that is your United States. And the reason we've done it is so that all the people can realize they have a republic out here. The republic, the original republic. We need to put a stop to what ridiculousness we've seen. We got this king president, do nothing Congress. When I say do nothing, they'd be better off they did nothing. But they don't do their job. They don't keep their oath. They don't run the business of their business. They allow this guy to run rampant and the letter agencies, BLM, EPA, Energy Education, are running the government. Well, I got to tell you, Bob, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more uh, from the standpoint that we have to get back to the Constitution. And we, you know, we have a Republican Party with Republican leadership and traditionally Republican presidential candidates, at least in the last two times, that have advisors who are out of touch with America, that give bad advice, that don't want to fight, that don't want to tell it like it is, and that are afraid of their own shadow. And as long as that's the case, I mean, we got two more years, Bob, of a Barack Obama left. We don't have that much time. We think we got to get this done. We got to get the fires lit. And I'm going to do a little ad here if I can. RepublicForTheUnitedStates.org. That's where you can go okay. and find out a whole bunch. All right, Bob. I appreciate it, sir. I, I thank you. I, I, folks, I don't necessarily endorse that, uh, that website because I don't know anything about it, but you're free to check it out. And, of course, the way to, to go about this is the ballot box and pressure on Republican leadership. Let's go to a Nicholas who's in Athens, Georgia. Hello, Nicholas. You're next. Thanks for participating, sir. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Uh, Long-time viewer. Great. actually really happy to be on your show. I always get to catch it here at work thank every you. day. Thank you. Um, uh, well, I actually I, I wanted to talk a little bit about this whole Sony thing. The president today, you know, said they made a mistake, and you know, well, that could be that could be true. I, I feel like maybe that brought down American patriotism to a new low, as far as feeling, you know, that you know America's in charge of, you know, we're we're behind everything. We we understand um, that nobody's going to influence us in a negative way the way it has. And I I kind of I wanted to ask you like what what could America realistically do? To prevent or even punish these people that hack private information in you know our private sector well I mean I consider this an act of war and uh, and I think we need to nip it in the bud and uh, you know we had Gordon Chang on here a China expert who said there's no way the president could believe when he said it's only North Korea so we 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 have to be proactive uh, we had on at the top of the show Daniel Henninger who said he said I hate to say this but we have to be aggressive we have to make sure this never happens again because next are our banks, our banking accounts, our infrastructure. So we have to do something, whether it's a preemptive attack on their infrastructure. They committed an act of war, and Definitely. we have to treat it as such, I believe. Definitely. I, I, I agree with you. And hopefully, you know, the, if this keeps happening over and over again, I feel like it could bring patriotism to an even lower point, and people would just start letting it happen and not care. And, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, Nicholas, I hope I hope uh, you're you're right. I hope it doesn't happen. Thank you so much for weighing in, and, and please spread the word about the show, and please uh, contact us again. All right, folks, uh, we're going to let you know how you could uh, get uh, you know get online so that we could contact you, and and uh, how you could register to be a part of this segment next time we do it. So keep watching. We'll get you that uh, address, and uh, we'll put you on if we uh, can, and you could participate right here on the Steve Malsberg show. All right, folks. So uh, when we come back yesterday. 
a, a, the best day of the year in many years uh, for, for the Dow. I think we have another record today on the S&P. It was all green today, not as much as yesterday, but Rob Williams will be here with the closing bell report. You know it, you love it, and uh, you can't wait for the ding, ding, ding. And we're coming back with Rob next right here on the Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television. Don't go away.